Hello, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, what should be a cracking game between Mouse Sports and We've Got Game. I am Tosspot, and I'm joined by Threat. Threat, how are you doing? I'm just fine. How are you? Not too bad. It's uh, We're going to have some great fun here. Threat, uh, I think the game's about to uh, get underway. So why don't you walk us through these uh, two teams? Obviously, Mouse Sports, uh, a name with heritage and great traditions, maybe fallen on hard times of late. And uh, we got game. What do you know about the two sides? Well, Mouse Sports have uh, done some great results recently, especially in the Fragbyte Masters Cup, uh, where they beat very games on this map, actually, uh, train. I think it was only two days ago, and uh, we got game, got knocked out of the same tournament in the group stage. So, if you consider like uh, their performance re recently, I would say Mouseports is by far the favorite for this game. Interesting. Um, now, do you see Maus as a team going to go all the way in this qualifier tournament and make their way to Yonshaping next week? Yeah, I actually think so. They have been. Uh, actually have kind of this rumor over them that they're like the strongest online team and uh, if you just look at the results we're well, beating both Clan Mystic and Very Games in the Fragbass Masters Cup uh, just two days ago so I wouldn't be surprised if they w will win this entire tournament. Interesting and how do you think they'd stack up against the big names that will be waiting for them challenging for uh, $250,000? Uh, you mean we got game or the other teams? Well either. Uh, how do you think either of these two sides would perform in the uh, under the stage ah, of uh, okay. gun tripping? Oh, uh, well, I think Mouseports will have the biggest chance coming into that uh, tournament since they have more experience. Experience, however, Ken S did play in very games and they had like uh, a lot of success in the beginning of the go, So uh, I don't know. I think both teams have, will have something to say in that tournament. Interesting players to watch out for in this as we uh, still wait on these guys to uh, ready up. Well, uh, Chris J has always been great uh, when I watch Mouse Force play. The same goes with uh, Troubly. And uh, of course, Kenny S uh, in We Got Game, especially considering its train, which is, uh, well, the most famous AWP map of all the, in the map cycle. Yeah, definitely. Um, train for uh, train for me, it's, it's one of those games that only gets interesting in the second half, you know? Um, you're expecting to see whether, that, uh, whether the teams can come back or not. Um, for you, if you were, uh, uh, if you were on these two sides, uh, who would, which side would you want to go first, CT or T? Uh, well, of course, I would go for the CT side, but just just because it's so much easier and just uh, you can get so much momentum if you start as uh, the easier side. If you get like a 10-5 lead, even though a 10-5 lead isn't really like you have won the game, it's just you just feel so confident when you you can see you actually are in the lead. Mm-hmm. Understood. Right, here we go. Well, it's the knife round to start off with. Always get excited and then realize, wait, it's a knife round. Never get too excited for a knife round. Um, we're following um, uh, auto directors so that uh, you guys see the same thing we do uh, or hear about the same things uh, that you're watching. Um, so, Threat, your money is on mouse boards, right? Yes, of course. Uh, as I said, uh, <laughs> Like two times already, they've played so great online recently, so I would be re uh, it would be a big upset if we got game one this uh, map. Interesting, then. What have your thoughts been? You've been casting with TDK throughout the rest of the tournament. Who else uh, Who else are we looking at as danger or candidates in this tournament? Uh, well, I would say the Swedish team LGB. They did have a real tough fight uh, just uh, like last game in the quarterfinals against Kirschnet. I think it was like one or two overtimes. Uh, but however, I think uh, Mouseports will play LGB in the finals and Mouseports will win. That's my predictions. There you go. So we are about ready to go on the pistol round here on train. And Mouse have got uh, the CT side that uh, you highlighted. They could build up one hell of a lead here uh, if they can uh, start well. Also for uh, We Got Game, they're going to... Make their way, I managed to say we were going to follow the order director, and then I completely left it. Anyway, Crispy opens up the fragging, gets himself a headshot on Doozy. Two frags coming in from We Got Game. It's going to be Chris J and Crispy who both go down as they make their way down in towards uh, that B site. And uh, Trubly is going to have to get himself out of trouble. Dropping Kenny, makes his way in between the train. Beautiful to finish off GMX. And now that will just leave one man or two men left standing for a We Got Game. We're in a two versus two as the make the switch over towards the A site. Leave Maniac 
to uh, try and uh, recover the bomb from A. Coming in through the Z hallways was... Well, or is Trouble finishing off the job. And that leaves just one man standing for We Got Game. It's Maniac versus Legion and Trouble. And uh, he's got a tough ask because the bomb is wedged right between the two trains. Starts with a headshot. Now he's one versus one. Picks up the bomb. This is his moment. Firing up to the top there. Will nade out to the right. He's going to try and drive him down all the way back towards CT spawn. He's got just enough time if he pulls back. But he's going to pull that bomb all the way out and uh, take the safe route. 15 seconds to go for him though. If he's going to make it into that A site, he is going to have to run his legs off. He makes it over towards it. He's now going to put the bomb down on the very backhand side. He can defend that from the T side of it as well and uh, forces Legia to come through the Z hallways. You can hear him. They're dancing around the bomb train. What an entry to this match has been and it'll be Mouse Sports who pick it up. Maniac dropped and uh, Mouse in the end uh, able to recover from a two versus one to win and defuse. Threat your thoughts. Yeah, well, a nice try there from Maniac, uh, however, it was kind of a lost cause after the broken strat they had there when they tried to push the inner bomb sites. It's always such a big risk if you go down with the bomb and you don't have all your teammates with you, because they lo lost the bomb and both of the terrorists was uh, defending the back there, so uh, that was basically a round over from that point. Yeah, losing the bomb right in the thick of the site left it in kind of the hardest position to recover. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, almost impossible to go go down that lower ramp without any smokes. And now, we got game find themselves between a rock and a very hard place. A fully armed mouse sports as uh, Ledger will open up with two frags. Kenny and GMX both go down. They're just going to help themselves. Oh, and it'll be Uzi who gets that next frag. And mouse sports have four out of oh, sorry three out of the needed frags. Maniac still standing. But, uh, well, dart his way down towards the B site. Just getting the plant down, if he can even get in there quick enough, will help. But getting sandwiched by a mixture of Crisby and then Chris J finishes off the round. And that is a pistol round conversion number one. Uh, not much there for them, Threat. Uh, no, not really. I mean, uh, they were looking for a frag, but uh, considering you have... Glock Eco as Sion train, there's not much you can do. Uh, great for them that they got to the plant, however, on the pistol round, it means they can buy, buy this third round. So, he's able to make a game of it. Here we go, pushing down the side. Interesting work here, they're just going to go and get himself two francs. He and Trouble pushed all the way out, they'll go down towards T-Spawn. Nothing there for them, and that quick move, that quick thought, uh, has opened up this round for them. It leaves We Got Game with a lot of work to do, and they start with a frag from Maniac on from Maniac on the Trouble, but he's been picked off in the end by Chris J. We're on four versus two, and it's DMX who will lead this charge for them. Chris J rotates all the way around back towards the B site, and he's going to get himself in on the action as well. Uh, and both of are going out, this is a very weird we got. All I know that the threat of the bullshit because it speak was robot for him. We will say an interesting character. But that's just going to get down, and it'll be... Beautiful stuff! Three frags coming in so quickly, and moving into a sea site. Almost forcing off into an equal. There are, however, man, man, by just by the of the key. But if they lose this, this round, they're uh, forced into an equal.
And it seems like there are some technical issues there. We should have Torsport and Fret back as soon as we can. But for now, you're back to me, and there's Mianet getting a nice kill onto Trubbly there. So, with a 2 2 position here, just trying to gun that all oh, great little frag there from Legia there onto 43 14. As uh, Kenny S is looking for the scope shot onto. Legia there, but not quite going to get it. And Legia picked up that weapon, but not going to be able to use it. It's going to be Kenny S with the drop onto him. So that could have been dangerous, could have been a threat, but easily eliminated by the AWP work of Kenny S here uh, so far. So checking out this game, we see that the money for both teams is fairly, fairly bad. It's just, it's just we got against Uzi, who's having a, <laughs> he's kind of swimming in it right now, along with his teammate Maniac. So. Definitely Mouse Sports are looking to win this round to even things out. If they really lose this round, and we've got to remember as well that orbs are really much more important for the CT side. So, so if they start losing, they need to be ahead in money. They just always need to be a bit ahead in money. So, oh, can he going to be boosted up onto the fence there? Can he actually get a pick from that? Or will he go amiss with that, that uh, sniping right there? And Legia might be foolish enough to peek. And actually, the smoke does go down, so no threat there anymore. So it seems like they're going to back away from Ali and make their way back around to T main, perhaps regroup for an inner push. We've got Tizian holding down Pop Dog right now. And oh, through the smoke, 43 14, going to drop down. He can't quite get back up the ladder. And Tizian, oh, actually, they're both pretty low, but they both escape with their lives. So, pretty risky business right there. Bit of a malfunction on that ladder and uh, almost cost him his life and still holding it down. But the, the round time is running low yeah. so far. It's about 40 seconds left, so I guess they could go for both, both sides. But they go for B now. Pushing down low, four people. So you got, oh, good stuff there. They've smoked off that CT connector. But Mouse Sports, they've read this like pros. We go against Kenny S. He's going to be trying to make that orb work with the double scope here, but not quite finding anything just yet. And uh, the CTs are flooding in, in here. Mouseport's trying to make good of this as Kenny S is getting under a lot of pressure. He's got one in the back there, close range with the M4. Takes down one teammate, but he gets the frag in return. Chris J moving in close now, and he's got the orb as well. Oh my god, he's so aggressive. Close range with the orb and manages to make it happen. It's all down to Maniac. Can he kill the diffuser in time? He manages to get one. He gets a second. There's one more, but there's not much time left. Trouble, he surely can't do this. The bomb is going to explode. And uh, it is now becoming a fool's errand, Trubbly. He just can't do it. And it's going to be Maniac with a beautiful clutch there. That's what I love about CSGO, the smokes. I mean, you can't even compare it. Okay. And it uh, seems like, Nicholas, we're going to have to switch back to Tosspot and Threat. So take it away, guys. Okay, wow. Well, threat. One versus three. Maniac picks up the round. Tell, tell us in non robotic ways. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we see we got some issues there, but uh, we got game with yet another individual skilled one round. Great play there from Manic. I mean, like winning a one versus three on an after plant as T on trains, just so important, especially when you're forcing your opponent to an eco. Like that, basically two rounds as T, and uh, as I said earlier, five rounds as T might even be enough. So that's huge for a we got game. Yeah, phenomenal stuff. Um, they've, I mean, they're, they're playing kind of without that bias, you'd say. I mean, they, once they got that plant down there, a glorious after plant, uh, recovery from, from Maniac. Anyway, into this round, uh, we're on a three versus three, uh, with, um, Mouse probably quite chuffed because they've, uh, had to pick up two TAKs and they're going to try and inflict as much damage as they possibly can here. Uh, we're on... Kenny as he tries to make his way in towards that A site. He'll, he's got Trubbly up in the bird's nest behind him, but uh, Kenny won't get that far for sure. You know, the Maniac then waits. They're going to make a controlled entry in towards this A site, and uh, up in the bird's nest they look, but there was no one there, and uh, Trubbly is going to lie in wait, and he's going to signal that there's incoming, and that'll need... Uh, Crispy to join them. He makes his way across from the Z hallways now. Bomb goes down, and here it comes. Trouble gets himself the frag on the GMX, and now goes for frag number two, but Maniac stops him in his tracks before Titian does the job. And now we're in a one on one. Kenny and his AWP decapitated by Crispy, and Mouse oh, no. with one hell of a recovery. Yeah, winning that eco. I mean, we got game. All that they go have going for them right now are their individual performances. I mean, just look at that round. They lost two AKs and the seat has managed to pick them up. It's not the way you want to play an anti-eco uh, anti ST on train. You want to stick together and if you lose a player, you're going to make sure that the seat is won't be able to pick it up. Talk me through what went wrong after plant there. 
Well, they had just two bad positions where trouble was up in the in CT heaven. So uh, I mean T heaven. So uh, basically, they were so boxed in, there were nothing we got game could do. Interesting. Now forcing uh, save round from we got game, having been in such a glorious position. Anyway, Mouse Sports still trail after seven rounds by one. Titian picks himself up the first frag for Mouse here before. Return comes in from Kenny, but then it's an all-out bloodbath as the T's are wiped from the map. 4-4, and uh, now let's see whether uh, the We Got Game side have uh, got an answer. Because as you said, getting up to five, six rounds on T on this gives you real hope for the second half. So they've done a lot of the hard work. They just can't allow themselves to lose it again. Yeah, exactly. But I really want to see which we got game play more with better team play right now because uh, they can't win uh, versus a team like Mouse Sports on pure individual skill. Kenny loses his head and his AWP for the troubles as Mouse pick off the Danger Man and uh, Maniac checks to see whether anyone's flanking and uh, it'll be uh, Uzi that drops back. It's Double the log on Mouse Sports. This is very interesting. Lizzie and lies in wait up top. One of those orgs as he holds back. It'll be uh, troubly now. Looking in the middle. Over towards the B site though. We see We Got Game starting to make their entry down towards the B site. It's going to be bomb following about a minute behind as they slowly waltz in towards that side. It's going to be Crispy who's lying in wait. He uh, is going to get the first frag onto GMX. Looks for frag number two. Hits him. Doesn't get it to finish the job. And now coming straight at him. It was uh, going to be picked off. Chris J though finishes off the job. And the B site just about recovered. The bomb has been planted though. And uh, here we go. Opportunity knocks. Two players in there to defend. Ledge is the first to try and come back. Uzi drops him. And we got game now in a great position to try and hold on to this. Three Maus players incoming. As uh, it'll be Maniac to get frag number one. He's done a three for here before, but he's not going to get it this time. And now Uzi looking to finish the job. On the bomb is Chris J. He's defusing. Oh, what a shot. And it's all finishes off Uzi. And Maus get the defuse. Great save from Chris J right there, but I can't believe that Rob was so close after Mouseports managed to get a 4 versus 2 advantage. Seems like <laughs> every round that uh, we get game wins are close uh, at winning, it's just them turning around, around. It doesn't really seem like they deserve the rounds they're getting right now. Are we watching two teams playing on uh, just pure individual instincts as opposed to two teams outsmarting one another? Yeah, well, for the looks of it, it looks like We Got Game is playing more of a mixed style of game. They're just going all over the map, trying to get uh, early picks. Uh, however, on the other side, Mouseport is playing, playing more uh, defensively, playing more of team-based uh, kind of game. Interesting. Opening frag coming in from Chris. Crispy follows it up as in come the remaining We Got Game players. They do manage to get themselves one frag, but that'll be it for them. Mouse ascend into a 6-4 lead. Five to go in this first half. From this position threat, what are the scorelines you'll be looking for for uh, for an interesting second half? Well, 11-4, 10 5 in favor of Mouse Bosch would probably, probably mean the most interesting second half. Uh, however, if, if We Got Game doesn't step up their game, I don't think uh, they will get any more than four rounds right now. Uh, I really want to see them go together, go for a like yard push or inner push together, not doing as they're doing right now, just going one by one at like, every single position on the map. Interesting. So. Here we go. This is where you got games opportunity to get themselves back on the scoreboard. And uh Maniac will wait. Early early round, we got game. Don't give anything away. Do you does that kind of uh talk to you that they're they're trying to get out of this mix format you were talking about, Threat? Yeah, well, I mean, it's better than they've doing the past rounds where basically one guy's just rushed out alley or going put try to push out main trying to be a hero and just dying. Uh, maybe they will try to do a push together now. It seems like they have one guy faking inside, so maybe they are uh, stepping up their team play a bit. They're listening to you. They don't want to. They don't want to upset you, threat. And here we go. 
frags coming in. Trouble, he will open up onto Uzi as he made his way forward. Blinded and smoked, he didn't stand a chance. And we got game pushing. Maniac been the standout player, and that's why. Two big frags for him, and he's turned this round on its head. GMX dropped by Crispy, but Maniac's going to do this all on his own. Puts the bomb down, and uh, in the end has to get out of there. He's got incoming, and will... Oh! Caught between a rock and a hard place. Crispy will down him, and uh, it'll be Ledger to finish off onto Kenny. Leaves just one player left. Chris J does it, and really, uh, that round was Maniac versus. Yeah, and that's if you look at this round, this is why I always say that the uh, Molotovs is so underused. The Molotov there basically won the CT stay round because if the ter terrorists would have gotten the bomb down, they could have just camped in there. They were actually in really, really good positions. But the Molotov forced him out of the bomb plant area. They managed to managed to kill him, and uh, with only 10 seconds left on the clock, there was basically nothing we got game could do. Devon 4, Mouse Sports 1 now. Four, five rounds in a row. Four rounds in a row. Five rounds in a row. And building up some good momentum. Let's see. Uzi pushes in, gets himself the uh, early entry onto uh, Legia, and that forces Mouse to have to just reshuffle a little bit. What have we got game got to uh, answer that? It's going to be Trubly that's going to spy two players coming his way. Yeah, I think we got game will just. Uh... Played slow, camp it out, didn't know they have a player's advantage, uh, that most likely would mean that Mouseport will go aggressive somewhere and try to get some information. We got game lying in wait. Having got that frag, as you say, they're looking to see whether they could utilize that to force any movement from the mouse side. They've taken their time, they've made... Uh, They've moved all, f or they've moved four players over towards B, and they've got one flanking at A. He'll cause a bit of a stir when he gets there, and maybe try and pick people off as they rotate in. Here we go. It's going to be uh, Uzi to open up, gets himself frag onto Crispy. We have lost Maniac though, and Uzi will get himself his second frag. Lovely stuff. Trouble's going to try and stop him from planting the bomb, but I don't think he's going to be able to. Oh, GMX makes sure of it, and now it's all Tetsian, and he'll go down. Kenny picks it up, and we got game. Pick up a. Four frag victory in that round. Yeah, we got game played absolutely perfectly uh, with their advantage. They just camped it out, uh, forced Mouseports into getting into uncomfortable positions, uh, considering they were all four players defending. And then just going for the inner bomb sites together, having one guy going through C to spawn, backstabbing. Yeah, just great play from them. Kenny makes his way down and is going to lead the charge in towards the A site. Here come uh, we got game. Uh, it'll be Titian who opens up the fragging. Uzi goes down. This will be frag number two from Legger. And it, we got game falling like flies. Kenny gets himself one frag, but three have passed. And we got game in a two on four now. But Maniac and Kenny left standing, both of whom have what it takes to do something big. Kenny gets himself the first frag. Maniac's going to have to pick up a hat trick. And he darts all the way up to... Uh, make his way out of there towards the... Well, the bomb's down in the A site, so he's going to have to come down that ladder and try again but the CT side are sat happily waiting for him and Maniac begins to start his way out of the first train but he's not going to get past Trubly and Mouse pick up 8-5 yeah, Nice try there from Wigot game rushing the yard through main and pop uh, however I think they lost it from to, due to the lack of smokes it seems like they didn't manage to get any smokes out on, onto the A bomb site, but it can be hard sometimes considering the Mossport is playing very aggressive on yard, so you really can't get any good angles to throw smokes in. Two rounds left in the half. 10 5 was a score you said at the start would have been a great one. Well, let's see, we may just get exactly that. Uh, Lucy is. Spamming down from the uh, top of valley, doesn't get anything there. It'll be Maniac waiting over by a entrance, doesn't uh, make his move. And now we switch over towards GMX, who's uh, heading over towards the B site. Mouse get the first shot. It's going to be Chris that gets himself GMX, followed up by frag number two from Legature. And it'll be Uzi who goes down. Nice work from Mouse there. Five to three here, going into... Well, uh, forcing an opportunity from We Got Game, who lose a lot of health on Maniac. Kenny's also down to half health. They should be able to close this one out, but phenomenal frag there from Kenny uh, gets himself. Uh, gets.
that we got game side on the board. And here goes Chris coming around from the back. Or a back of uh, spawn in. He's waiting, expecting something from Maniac. Maniac opens up with a frag onto Trubly. And we got game suddenly pull this one back from a tough, tough position to a three on three, albeit with very little health. Bomb goes down. Frag comes in. Atitian's out. And we are currently in a three on two afterplot. Opportunity knocks for them to get around that they had no right to win. Kenny gets picked off. Two versus two. Here we go. Shot comes in from Chris J. A Maniac has been silenced. And the last man standing is up on the top he's lying in wait whilst the defuse will go in and that'll be round number nine for mouse sports and just just managed to get that one over the line yeah i mean mouse sports made that round way too close than it should have been they had five versus three so great opening for them but as they've didn't have done previously in this half they kind of just get sloppy in that uh in when they have a huge advantage so yeah, they did manage to win that round, however, so good good for them. So 9-5. Crucial one, but the bomb plant will have helped the uh, We Got Game side, who just about got some form of weaponry together in this one. And uh, they'll throw everything they've got to try and make it 9-6 going into the half. Um, we'll, uh, we'll evaluate with threat who was the victor of this first half uh, at the end of this one, but the push comes in to be now maniac waits grenade goes down chris j is there crispy gets himself fragged number one as gmx goes down quickly chris j misses opening up but he doesn't miss the second time around and uzi's been picked off five on three kenny now ready to uh, make his move and in fact decides his move is going to be one of retreat as he drops down the ladder and over towards the a side it'll be potentially a very clear entry as uh we got game. Have got three players in towards the A site. Maniacs there with the uh, with the bomb carry as well. Titsian gets himself fragged number one over at CT Sport, and Leg Legature will go down. And uh, Kenny is going to get picked off. I'm getting mullered in chat for my pronunciation of that. And uh, Kenny and Maniac, last two men standing. Can they pull off uh, something quite phenomenal here? As they get fragged, number one, number two, Maniac's on the board here, and he's really been the difference between the two sides. Kenny helps himself to frag number three. Surely not. It's Crispy that's the last man standing. He and his Orgo, all that stops them, and Maniac's headshot delivers the round what? to We Got Game. Threat, what was that? I, I just can't believe it. Like, once again, Mouseporch has this huge advantage early in the round, and they just throw it away. I mean, why would they put five guys inside. They, they get two entry frags inside uh, on the B-bomb site and they rotate all five players there. I, I don't know what they are doing. What they are doing. They could have left like one guy in T-Heaven or just one guy outside on yard just scouting to get that early information because they just uh, managed to plant the bomb way too easily considering it was a five versus two situation. Amazing stuff. Nine, six. I mean, what have we seen? Have we? I mean, we've seen some phenomenal stuff. Maniac, 15 frags in that round. Chris J, 15 frags. They've, you know, we've seen some great stuff individually. But would you look at this as teams and say either of these two teams kind of deserve to go on and win this one? I, I think uh, both teams are trying just to not lose it. Uh, yeah, you actually have a point there. I mean, we got game had Maniac doing like all the job for him, carrying his team. Uh, however, Mouse Sports were playing a lot stronger team-wise and tactically, because just consider, they lost six rounds that half. Uh, two of those rounds, they lost a five versus three. Maniac went crazy. Last round, they lost a five versus two. Maniac went crazy. And they, I think they had at least one or two ecos as well. So if you consider that, that was basically almost all the rounds that we got game managed, managed, <coughs> managed to get that half. Interesting. So, 9-6. Um... We didn't have We Got Game down for that many uh, T rounds, though, did we? Not, no, not at all. I'm actually quite surprised with this result. Uh, however, I think it's going to be quite difficult for We Got Game if they they won't step up their team play. But, uh, I mean, they proved me wrong last half. Maniac just going uh, completely crazy. So, I don't know. It, uh, we Got Game surprised me. So, here we go. We're going to get the uh, second half underway. Where's your money threat? Well, I do always favor the uh, seat is on the seat to pistol on this map, so I would say uh, we got game. We'll probably win this pistol round. 
And then from there, still still money with mouse ports? It's kind of difficult. If we got game, they have actually a great opening in this map, uh, ha this match, but uh, I think mouse ports have this extra gear they can pull in if they want to. Well, they may just need it here. We got game picked themselves up, frag number one. Crispy's been picked off. And uh, this is the start they needed as they look to claw back uh, this round. 9 6 half time score, and we are underway for second half of the quarterfinal here of the Face It Dreamhack Winter Qualifier. Quarter of a million dollars up for grabs, and GMX finds himself frag number one. Legger is going to get himself the next one, and uh, it's going to be Kenny and Maniac following up for We Got Game. Titsian is going to go down. And uh, Maus, well, sorry, Titsian's going to go and get himself two frags, sorry, as uh, Uzi goes in to finish the job and get the defuse. I managed to completely mess up most of that round, I apologize. But round goes for the CTs, and uh, that puts We Got Game in a glorious position. Yeah, it's actually rough, and Mausports did, however, get that plan, so the round after this is going to be probably match deciding considering whoever wins the next round will force the other team to an ecos and uh, I don't think we got game uh, can afford many ecos this half yeah interesting stuff so 9-7 it is uh, game on for we got game as they open up Uzi and GMX help themselves to a frag apiece, and that'll be number three as well, as the mouse side unable to deliver. Maniac picks himself up one more, and we got game looking for a clean sweep. Last man standing is uh, amazingly completely unspotted. Gets himself frag number one onto Kenny, but going no further. And uh, that will bring us up to 9-8 in a one-round game. And that frag is actually more important than people might think. They are actually forced to drop a weapon to Kenes and he has to buy new armor and grenades. So that's basically two players in Wii Get game that won't have any money if they lose this round. So, this to tie us up. But, Mouse, push forward and have other ideas. Exchange... Uh Hey, leg here gets himself one more, and Mouse have got themselves a two-man uh, advantage here as the CTs have to recover for the afterplot. The Famuses of Maniac and 4314 to do the double trouble. He himself frag number one, and Mouse have averted disaster. 10 8 get themselves first round of the second half. And this is what I'm talking about, the Wii game. I mean, they can do some great individual performances, but like. I can't believe they didn't try to save their weapons in that situation. They are very low on money. They need, they, like, they can't afford to have many ecos in this half. And uh, for some reason, they tried to go for a two versus four with the bomb planted. Uh, it's a very poor decision by them. No, Chris. They dance across as the auto director jumps from man to man, looking for action. Uh, we'll spy some over down at the. B bomb site where the bomb has been planted and goes in. Five on five after plant here. Phenomenal stuff, and the uh, T's have made a just phenomenally clean entry in towards that uh, bottom site. Now, though, the recovery comes in. Trouble gets himself one or two for the male side. He's going looking for more. Crispy will help him out. Tizian is in on the back, and that leaves just one player left up for the CTs, uh, who is, I'm not sure, praying as he lies in wait at the back. Our side warm to finish off the job. It left him all alone in that B site, but he's not going to be able to get the defuse. And that'll be it. 11 8. Five needed for Mouse to advance to the semis. Yeah, it's uh, 11 to 8. However, there's a huge money advantage for Mossports right now. We got game. Really need to string the rounds together if they want to get back into this game. Maybe if they win like two or three rounds in a row now, they will get back into it, but Mouseports uh, do have a firm hand of this game right now. So, uh, for you on this one, what would you change if you're on that We Got Game so well, well, we'll come to that in a second here as Mouse make their entry. I'm lagging like hell on this one and uh, almost dropped off CS uh, off Go TV as Chris J gets dropped by Kenny. Kenny gets himself two, and this is the opportunity here. Kenny, right at the back of the bomb train, is 
are in trouble and uh, lies in wait. Frag number three comes for him and that'll be Kenny's round. Three to him and uh, finishes off the job. So we got game, get themselves back. 11 9. Uh, threat for you. What would you change on this We Got Games t CT defense? Well, I think their biggest mistake might not be like their defense in general, but that they have to be more careful about their money. Like, really think about their decisions in ECOs if they're trying to steal a weapon, if they're trying to kill the opponents. Because uh, right now they are in such a like awkward position money-wise, because if they lose only one round, they are forced to an ECO. So, uh, I mean, they just have to... Maybe play a bit more defensively, use Kenny as op, and try not to lose any weapons. So how do you use Kenny in this situation? I mean, such an op's favoured map. Um, he's clearly such a talented player. How do you defend him? How are you going to uh, you know, get him to overtake Maniac on the scoreboard? Well, it's quite hard to tell. I mean, you can play and put him defensively on either the A or the B bomb site. However, there's always the risk that Mouseport will uh, use great smoke grenades, which basically means he can't hit any shots because he can't see his opponents. On the other hand, if he goes aggressive, there's always the risk he will miss a shot, and that's basically mean he's dead. So uh, I would uh, actually prefer him going for the more kind of defensive play, and because they really need to win the, this round, and not only win them, they need to win this round and have a lot of players alive when they do so. So we've lost a player. Uh, PC crashed and is rebooting, which is uh, why you're uh, seeing... Not much on this. Um, on the the wider side of the tournament, thread. Have you got uh, visibility on the on what's going on elsewhere? Oh, I can check it out once again. Obviously, Pretty this sure is it's... the qualifier for DreamHack Winter, which starts next Thursday in Jönköping, Sweden, which I'm sure will be lovely and warm and welcoming. Um, not full of snow and not really dark as it may have been previously in November's past. I'm pretty sure uh, L I, will, I know that LGB is in the other semifinal. I'm just going to see who they're playing. Uh, pretty sure the final is going to be whoever wins this game versus LGB. And at the beginning of this uh, match, you had a lot of faith, a lot of confidence in Maus. Uh, they, particularly on this map, after their performance in the Frag Bike Tournament, um, does that confidence remain having seen this performance against We Got Game? Well, not really. I mean, they have uh, lost uh, all those uh, rounds where they had a huge advantage uh, on their CT side. But as I said earlier this half, I do think Mousepers have that extra gear they can pull in if they really need to. So 11-9, still missing a player, and uh, we're waiting to get this one back underway. Um, Let's talk wider. Let's talk bigger. Uh, where's your uh, Where's your money for the DreamHack tournament itself? Uh, well, as a Swede, I'm actually going to root for NIP, of course, and I do think that NIP will win. Maybe a lot of people will say Very Games, Clan Mystic, or even Astana Dragons, considering NIP hasn't been perf performing great recently. But uh, if you look in the past, NIP has that like extra edge when it comes to those really, really important huge tournaments. And uh, DreamHack is the biggest tur uh, CS tournament of all time. So uh, I think that Force and Get Right will have that extra experience that they will need to win the final. And Swedes and DreamHack, they always perform well on home turf. Doesn't matter the game, they always deliver at DreamHack. Uh yeah, uh, I mean, Swedes have always been a real good counter uh, in CS. However, recently that's have kind of changed, uh, but we still have a lot of good teams. So, wouldn't be surprised if uh, some other Swedish team manages to go get top three as well. Maybe SK has been playing like great recently. So we're waiting on one player to rejoin as we have just uh, lost a PC crash. And I don't know whether he's running Windows 95, but uh, his boot time ain't that impressive. As uh, we got game down a player. Mouse 11 9 up as we wait on getting this underway. And the mouse side have. Who's impressed you for this mouse side? I mean, Scoreboard would say uh, Chris J uh, and Trouble have led the way, but uh, anyone else in particular, where would you look at the strengths in this mouse team?
and we have lost threat, or I've gone, or... Oh, wait, wait, here. Uh, sorry, can you hear me now? Yes, we've had a, oh. a troublesome time of lag out, so I wasn't sure whether it was you, me, or anything else. Oh, sorry, well, I'm back now. Uh, yeah, I heard your question. I, I, I do think Chris J has impressed me the most this game, especially considering that last round uh, at CT. Uh, well, I always think it was the second last round where, where he manages to pull back a 2 versus 3 with the bomb planted on Yard. He hit a great shot onto CT Heaven, so uh, I would say Chris J, but it's not by much. I mean, all the players have been playing great for Mouse Sports. It feels more of a like a team effort from them. You know what, Threat? I was just reading Twitch chat. They loved my Windows 95 joke. And guys, I can tell you, if you like that joke, I've got a lot of terrible jokes that I can share with you. That's that's the kind of guy I am. I'm the guy that sits in the corner and tells you the worst joke in the world. And you're like, is he serious? And then you're like, yes, he is. Ooh, better laugh or he might cry. So, much appreciated. Um, <laughs> Dill waiting. I can, you know what? not going to go for that Windows 95 joke again, but uh, what on earth is going on? Uh, there is... Uh, we... Wait. Uh, oh, he's oh, reconnecting yeah. now, so here we go. We're, we should be getting back underway. And this 11, is the, nine. Like, we have filled well. We have filled this time. Well, we deserve a medal. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I mean, this is the thing about the, like online tournaments sometimes. It's just so annoying, especially like... In the last few years, well, pe people are starting to get the DDoSed. Uh, like it's well, there's nothing you can do about it, but it's still like very annoying, especially for all the fans watching the game. It's, yeah, it just sucks. Oh, I see Dunn's in uh, chat. Looking forward to uh, seeing Dunn in uh, Yon Shipping next week. Um, never actually casted with uh, Corey. Actually, this is our first time casting together. Threat. Um, I hope That's the experience exactly. has been as enjoyable for you as it has been for me. Yeah, it's uh, been great. It's only been one half and with some problems, but uh, it's been great so far. <laughs> I got all dressed up for this. <laughs> you did? Yeah. I'm just sitting here at home in my sweatpants, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean by all dressed up. Where I'm a favorite Adidas <laughs> trousers, ready to go. Um, I think this would be a good time to tell Mick, our director, to run a mid-roll break, and we'll be back in just a moment because we've when, when we're down to what clothes are we wearing uh we've really run out of things to talk about so we'll be back in just a bit Oh, 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 he's back, he's back, he's back. He's back, he's on the server. They have 10, they have 5. Yeah, it's not live, but they removed the pause. Uh, they're saying go. see whether he does exactly that. It'll be now troubly to move in. It's going to be Tizian to get himself fragged number one before Kenny delivers just for threat as Crisby goes down and then Tizian comes in and drops him. Chris J gets himself an all frag onto GMX and this is going to be it surely for Mal. They open up. Oh, beautiful stuff from Chris J. Maniac makes his way over towards the bomb site. He's going to have to deliver like he did on the T side, but isn't going to be able to finish off and is uh, dropped. So, That'll be Mouseports opening up a three-round lead. And uh, is this going to be an unassailable position for them, Threat? It's going to be very, very tough, especially considering they are, of course, forced to an eco now. And I just want to point out again, like, because of their poor uh, economy um, management, they are forced to an eco now. If they would have saved that round, they would have been, for sure, would have been able to buy this round. Kenny picks himself up the uh, opening frag, and it's Trouble that's gone down. And uh, Kenny is, well, 
just a beautiful player to watch. And uh, it'll be now Crispy and Tizzy and getting some cells. Frag number one, two, three, four. Here we go. Bomb's going to get planted. It's all on Kenny. I said he was a beautiful player to watch. He's going to have to be Jessica Alba beautiful to pull this one off. As he has a four on one. This would be a an ace and a half. As we wait on the auto director to turn to the one CT player that's left alive. As he makes his way. He's in the uh, Z hallways and has decided, you know what, it might be better to just hold on to a weapon. And that's what he's going to do. I built him up. Yeah. I did everything I could for it. <laughs> yeah, however, he's making the smart decision, saving that gun. They really need all the money they can get right now. Uh, like, the score will be 13 to 9, yeah, 13 to 9 right now, four mouse sports, and, like, they can't afford to go for another eco we got game. They have to win, or they have to string at least three or four rounds together right now if they want to come back into this. So, 13-9, they are going to buy what they can, it would appear. They've had a pause for TS lag. I guess it'll be a quick one, hopefully, as uh, we get the unpause call from Kenny. And so we will get this one back underway. Going to have to be a big, big round from him as uh, now sports are on the precipice of winning this of winning this game and going into the semi-finals and getting one step closer to the magical land that is yon chipping trouble very leads, important round probably leads the assault in and we uh, switch over here to 4314 who lies in wait nade comes out from trouble you see will fire into the smoke Balls back, Crispy gets picked off by GMX. Tizian then avenges with a turn frag. We're on a four versus four. Tizian's not done there. Kenny, the danger man's been picked off before Uzi comes in. Uzi gets himself frag number two with a headshot onto Trouble. And here we go, just two mouse players left standing, but they've made their way all the way down towards that B site. Bomb is almost on it, and it will be Chris J to put in the numbers. As he waits, he's going to put it down on the left hand side so he can get up that ladder and cover it with his orb. It's going to be Ledger to get himself that next one, and Chris finishes off the round or is it not no it's still maniac still standing and uh, he has all of nine points of health which is enough to get himself fragged number one what can he do about it makes his way down towards the bomb now it's gonna be Ledger to come around the corner there he is and maniac finishes him off can you believe it pushes in to get the defuse and we got game show that they're still alive and kicking yeah, and Toss, but I can't believe it. I can't believe Maniac has won so many rounds for his team. Like, the older stats is getting broken uh, by Mouse Sports, and Maniac just, by pure individual performances, just saves his team. Like, it's the fourth round this match. It's, it's unbelievable. He had nine points of health to get those two frags, and he used them all. He was absolutely brilliant. And Mao's now. Have to start again. 13-10 the score. Here we go. Opening frag coming from Crispy on to Uzi. Kenny then gets himself a headshot to bring us back up. Here comes GMX and his famous powers down to Lanciello. Comes in with two more. Kenny is there and we find ourselves all on Chris J. With his AWP makes his way around the back of the A-bomb site. Uh, of the A-bomb train from the T-spawn side. He has Kenny coming around and Maniac will rightly finish off the fragging. And that pulls us back. 13-11. Game on! Great, uh, I mean, super important frags there from GMX. Those uh, who have been playing a lot of CSGO recently know that it's not easy to get frags with the Famas. It's not that great of a weapon in uh, CS anymore, so very t too hard and important frags there from GMX. Every time we get excited about We Got Game and something special, they then go and lose the round inexplicably, so let's not get too much on that uh, We Got Game or same as myself. Let's not get too excited because Uzi though shows us how to get excited. Double headshot drops himself too. GMX follows it up, but Chris J has got himself two frags with his pistol. One of them into the head of Kenny gets himself an M4 for his trouble. He's going to push around. It's only trouble left standing though. Chris J has been dropped, and it'll be uh, GMX to get himself the frag. We got game three straight rounds in a row. It's 13-12, and uh, now's are uh, going to go for a full buy, but they're in. All sorts of trouble now. Yeah, great comeback potential here for We Got Game. Though those two P250 frags from Chris J can be so decisive this game because 
if we got game losers this round now, they will be forced to an eco, will, which means Mouseport will have 15 rounds. Chris J pushes down, he's got trouble for company, and those two create trouble. We got game lose two men, and the we got game hype train has just derailed because there's three on five, and Mouse are gonna make that five on two. Kenny's out. Oh my god, they killed Kenny, and it's gonna be we got game running out that running out of t steam as they make their way over towards the A site with the bomb, and uh, it's gonna be Uzi to get picked off next. Maniac, one versus five. Not gonna put it beyond him. Oh, there we go. That'll be trouble <laughs> helping him along the way. And uh, we switch over surely to uh, Maniac. You know, order director loves Chris J a little bit more. Maniac's gonna save his weapon and uh, last out this one. Gonna be 14-12. Not over yet though. No, it isn't, but... <laughs> Like, as I said last round, those two 50 frags from Chris J on that eco, considering we got game, will be forced to eco now, uh, was not, like, the importance of those two frags, even though Mouseports didn't win that round, it's, like, it's ridiculous. Maniac did get, piss, uh, did get picked off in the end, he got one frag for his trouble, but Auto Director didn't feel him worthy of, uh, of showing, and uh, they're going to famous it up, they don't want to let Mouseports get to match point. So oh, they're, they're going all in. Yeah, this is a very risky decision by them, but uh, but I like it. They they have to go all in. Big cojones here from We Got Game as Tizian leads the nails pace charge down towards the B bomb site, and Kenny is lying in wait at A. Trouble will. Just poke his head in towards that A site, see if he sees anyone. Nothing to see here. Crispy's going to go in, and uh, up towards B will come Crispy and comes. And he falls back. Drubly now is going to make the entry in towards the A site, though. Just spying to see any information he can share with the rest of the mouse team to try and give them an idea how many numbers are at B. And he'll have said he's not seen anyone. We got game. Open up with the frag. It's Ledger that goes down. And this is the opportunity they needed. They follow it up. Flash comes in. Crispy finds himself blinded and running like a wounded rabbit up on the top. Orc shot into the smoke. Hits nothing. Flash comes up. Oh, hit and a half as Crispy goes down. And GMX opens up. And that we got game hype train is revving up once again as they push forward. Trouble goes down. And we got game a one frag away. And they do it. It's 14 13. They went all in. And they came up trumps. Are you with us, Threat? Maybe not. We've either lost me or we've lost threat. Let's carry on. As uh, Kenny pushes in now, we've lost threat. I think the excitement may have gotten to him. As uh, Chris J pushes in, we got game move in. GMX going to go in. Tizian goes down for Mouse. We got game follow up with two more frags. Chris B in trouble. He hammers it back up. And we've got uh, only three men left standing for we got game. But before I can finish that sentence, the mouses have been caught. 14-14 threat. Welcome back. Are you on the edge of your seat? No, because he's not back. He's still dead. Everyone light a candle for threat. We may have lost him uh, permanently. It could be very upsetting. Dead. Threat's dead, everyone. 14 all. Crispy opens up the fragging for Mouse. It's tit for tat over by that A site as Mouse pick up two. There has been one back, but Kenny is out. And that's the big man there. GMX, though, answering up as he gets himself two frags here. GMX waits for more coming around the back of that train. He spies some legs. He goes to pick them off, but their legs are firing back. Maniac delivers a headshot onto Chris J, and we've not mentioned much about him lately. Maniac's grenade downs Crispy. Maniac completes the hat trick. He's going for the defuse. He's going to get the defuse. And we got game have pulled this all the way back to match point. And the Mouseport side will be absolutely livid with one another. We got game 15, Mouseports 14, and almost full buy from uh, We Got Game as they'll pick up the orb. They do have a full complement of weapons. Uh, and Galil comes out from Trubly. That's how bad it is for Mouse. Thread, are you with us? No. 
threat, the excitement level threat may well have had an aneurysm, so I, it's fully understandable. Um, as the mouse side will push in, and this has been one heck of a game. Last round, can mouse pull us into overtime, or have we got game? Gonna feel the train. Yes. Mouse have three players down by B. Trouble opens up the fragging onto Uzi, and that's exactly what mouse needed. They're going to force some concern over at A. They're going to force some movement. And that'll give those three men down at B the opportunity to make an entry. There are still two in at B. One in the Z hallway. So they're set up nicely for them regardless. As uh, Kenny is in position watching anyone coming in from A. Trouble is going to be there. And uh, just dance his head out. Trouble wants to get someone in the back. Frank coming in. Chris J gets himself the one onto Maniac. Oh, power coming in. And Chris J is out. As it will be... Trouble in on Kenny and Maus have got one hand on overtime. GMX and 4314 are all that stand between them and Crispy mows them down. 15 15. What a map. And uh, we're going to pass it back to DDK for his analysis on 30 rounds of ecstasy. And you're back, guys. Wow, so, um, right, that was the answer, just gonna... Check your... Yeah, like Fret, man. <laughs> if you're out there somewhere... Good to go, bro. <laughs> if you're out there somewhere, we'll find you and make sure you're okay. But, I mean, 15-15, th this was, like, an incredibly exciting train match. I mean, it really shows the, just like the level of games you can get on train so far. I mean, but the thing is that we can't, we can't just put it all down to the map, because that'd be just, frankly, unfair. Yeah, because of course. There's a guy called Maniac, <laughs> who's, who's, uh, who's living up to his name, but uh, looks like we'll, we'll let Tosspot finish what he started, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll hand it back to him when it's time. It's not yet time, because I know a lot of people, maybe they're like, oh, where's Tosspot? It's yeah, Tosspot's guy. We're, we're turning off the stream. Don't do that. Don't do that just yet. He will be back to finish off this game. But um, so far, I mean, the other, other notable thing, I think, for me, was just the, the, the skill with which GMX... Oh, they're actually going into the game, so we're going to head straight on over and pass over the toss spot. Enjoy. Welcome back. Here we go. GMX gets himself frags number one to two. He and Uzi combine. Mouse lose three players before Chris J is able to get in and stop Uzi's reign of terror. And Trouble is in on the A site. The pair of them lie in wait, and Trouble will go down. We got game looking just for Chris J. He's all at the stands between them. And round number one of a max round five overtime. Three on one for Chris J. We are following auto director. Doesn't want to show you Chris J. Doesn't think that the last man standing for the T side is, is that interesting. And uh, he, I can tell you, has got the bomb and is now dead. And, uh, well... It was a beautiful life. We've lost Threat, though. I think we should... Uh, I want it all to tweet at Threat. Make sure he's still alive and kicking, because uh, slightly concerned, he's... Uh, he, Swedish internet just doesn't go out. So, for him to not be here suggests that something bad has happened. Um, Hello. Ah, there you go, Threat. What happened? I actually think I might be getting DDoSed, which uh, sucks pretty hard. That does suck very hard. Yeah, I just can't believe the timing. Like, my, I never had any tr problem, and just when we're starting, it's starting to crash. So, well, sorry everyone if I will disappear uh, more during this game. So, I will try <laughs> everything in my power to maybe get a new IP or something. So, it won't happen. Probably, hopefully, it won't happen again. Here's what I can tell you: what you missed, threat. Everything was amazing. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> Bissian picks himself up a headshot, drops Uzi, Kenny returns back, and we're at 4-on-4. Four four. We got game, quickly rotate over towards the A site, 4-3-1-4 four, three, four, three, drops Trubbly, Legia gets himself in on the action, GMX is out, all power, and that'll be Legia's race run, as Crispy is down to half health, and Chris J has the bomb. Chris J, in the overtime, uh, reduced to the AK, not able to get his AWP into uh, the T attack that we saw him do a few times on Mouseport's T side, and has been left just kind of carrying the baby as we got game find themselves a man to the good crispy is i 
think, locked in that position. I assume they know he's there. If they don't, Chris G and Chris J both get themselves a frag. It's now all down to Kenny. He picks himself frag number one. He darts around the corner, goes for the finishing shot, and into the groin. He drops Crisby. Two rounds to we got game. How? What were your thoughts on that threat? Well, that round was very, very back and forth, and I just uh, connected like in the middle of it. But very important that Kenny has hit that last op shot. It, I mean, it was an easy shot, but considering it's the semi-final and the Dream Act qualifier and it's overtime, it's it's not the easiest things to do under when you're under that much pressure. It is. You're quite right. We find ourselves two rounds to the good for We Got Game. They've carried on their momentum. They've won what? Out of the last 10 rounds, they've probably won 8 of them. And Maus are finding themselves just... just yeah, that, that's a better question for you, Threat. What have Maus got to do differently? Well, it's very hard to tell. I just think they have to like have to take a lot of risks. A lot of teams make the mistake on overtime that so they just get... They feel like all the rounds are too important, so they just play it too safe. I mean, you are t, t on the train. You have to t take risks if you want to win in the rounds. Interesting stuff. So we're still 5v5. Five five. As we got game. Begin to make their move forward. It's going to be Legia now who pokes up from the alley. He's got... No one there. Yes, he is. He gets himself the frag onto Kenny, and that's the crucial one. Kenny pushes in. Tizian then helps himself to Maniac, and this is surely a mouse round now. Tizian's going to push in. GMX gets himself one onto Chris J. Makes his way through the set hallways now, down towards that B site where the bomb has gone down. Helps himself to a frag. Glorious stuff from him, and Tizian is out. GMX looks to uh, push forward. In fact, sorry, the bomb uh, went down at A. Tizian was escaping, and uh, or didn't know because he's come back. Uh, with GMX, they're both going to go through, and GMX and we got game. will go down to just one man left standing. It's four three one four that gets uh, dropped. Uh, that will surely not go for this with only eight points of health. He did, and uh, he didn't get very far. It's going to be Mouse's first round in what feels like forever. Is uh, what went right for them there? Well. The first frag on the inner bomb site completely sold their fake. They were trying to fake the inner bomb site and getting that enter frag. If we, uh, I looked at your review, I think two people from We Got Game rotated immediately to that inner bomb site, which meant the rest of the mouse push team could easily get the bomb down on the A bomb site. Did he, did he really run past a bomb being planted there? That last round. Uh, I don't know. I didn't catch that. Maniac gets himself fragged number one. Tizian is out. Mouseports a man down. And in uh, overtime, it's 2 1 to uh, We Got Game, whose uh, CT sign has been pretty good. Thank you. Dances around in a corner and gets himself the frag onto Kenny. When you get Kenny out of the game, it normally goes well from there on in. Uh, Uzi's going to get picked off as well in the Mouseport side have themselves an advantage. Four on three. They have spotted one. They know there are players in on A. There's a bomb though going down towards B. Yes, it's in. Trouble gets picked off and Mouse losing numbers here as Crispy goes down. It's all down to Chris J and he's famished out by GMX. Round two. We got game 18-16. And Mouse Sports might have been playing a little bit too aggressive there on the inner bomb site after they got that bomb down. I mean, it's always good to take round, but when you manage just to get that bomb down so easily, you can easily just play from the secret hallway and uh, play for <coughs> all that bomb time. So, does the, does the momentum continue for We Got Game in this one? Yeah, I think so. It, the last round here would be very important. I mean, 4-1 to one is a good half for Wigat game. 3-2, to two, I would say, is a good half for Mouse Sport. So, it's, it all comes down to this round, this half. No pressure, guys. As uh, Boosie pushes in, looks to get himself frag number one. He gets it. Leggy goes out. And this will be Chris J opening up with the orb. Oh, lovely stuff. And Uzi fell right between the crosshairs. As uh, Maniac's going to come from behind. They were waiting for him. Tizian gets himself the frag. Trouble's going to go in. It's all on Kenny now. He's got 
does have company. He does have uh, four through one four. It's a two versus two. And Kenny will poke his head out, get himself the frag onto Crisby in the back. And it's Tizian running with that bomb as fast as his legs can take him over towards the B site. Puts in the code, finishes off the bomb, and now has two players standing between him and halftime. In the overtime here is Kenny pushes forward, takes some damage as uh, he'll now go for the headshot and gets it. All he could see was Tizian's head just poking in between the train and he picks up the frag. It'll be 4-1 and as Threat says, the difference between 3-2 and 4-1 in a five round overtime is huge. Yeah, 4-1 to We Got Game and considering it will be 10k start money, I think We Got Game has a huge advantage right now because if they just go for that simple AK pl play, they will at least have money f to buy a three, uh, three to four rounds. So there's a lot of pressure on Mouse right now. They basically have to win three to four weapon rounds in a row now. And you think they're capable of it? I mean, this Mouse side to me look a little bit disjointed. Yeah, I mean, it, there's, they don't have any momentum going for them right now. However, C to train is one of those half where you can easily like just uh, throw a map, uh, turn a match on his head and just come back because it's so much easier to play, play the C to side on this map than the T side. Big half for Chris J, you feel with it, AWP on CT side? Uh, yeah, I think he's going for the op, but it's, yeah, he's, he bought the op, but it's still kind of risky considering, you I mean, 10k is a lot, but uh, it runs out faster than you think. Uh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Money runs out faster than I think every day. <laughs> but, uh, it'll be... Probably waiting in the site. He spies some legs coming in from the T entry point, but nothing happens to him. This is Chris J, who uh, we're expecting to see something big from here. GMX fires down towards the first B entry lane. Is we got game side. Just look to see if they can get a pick, see if they can create an opening for themselves. Hasn't happened thus yet. In fact, Maniac's taken a fair whack of damage as he and Legia have basically ex both got half health. In the opening few seconds here, nothing too crazy. Both know what's on the on the line here. We could be going to several match points. Opening coming in here as Uzi pushes in, gets himself one. Tizian avenges. And we go to 4v4. GMX comes flying into the site, gets himself a frag, but again, tit for tap. Trouble puts us back up. And then we exchange frags once more. Two versus two. Now after plant, Maniac finds the head of Crispy before Chris J comes in and says hello. It's AWP versus AWP for the round. As Kenny, of course, switches out uh, immediately after I say that. As Chris J dances in towards that bomb site, he's going to lie away and get picked off. It's match point. We got game, and Kenny delivers. Perfect execution there from We Got Game. They just pushed down early. They saw that Mouse Sports was playing very defensively, and they just said, "Okay, guys, they're playing defensively on yard. If we just time this right, we can so easily take that A bomb site." And that's exactly exactly what they did. Mouse Sport, however, is playing like it looks like they're kind of scared. They're way, playing way too passively right now. Well, they've got four rounds to save their DreamHack Winter. See whether they can pull this off. It's going to be tough. All quiet on the western front as Leg here gets picked off by Kenny. I take it back as we got game. Get themselves the first frag. Follow it up with Maniac onto Trouble. Maniac seems to love T side on train as we're on a five on three. You've got to feel that if we game, we got game. Throw this one away. Then anything can happen as Kenny makes his way down towards that B site and it's going to be a full B intrusion as Chris J has no idea what's coming his way on the other bomb site, isn't in position for it at all and uh, will oh, does by someone there just as he was leaving. What was that? Fires into the smoke. GMX opens up the fragging. Crosby's down. And this leaves just Chris J between... Or oh, Antisium between Mouse Sports and Defeat. GMX seals the deal. And we got game. Have finished it off in overtime. 21 rounds to 16 all in all. Threat your thoughts. I I'm just in shock. I like never thought that they could do it. But uh, obviously they proved me wrong. And uh, like great play from Maniac entire game. I think he was... 
like MVP of this game by far. 